it's a decade for me next year. I've been doing weddings as a celebrant. I've been doing weddings since I was eight. But I've been doing weddings as a celebrant for 10 years next year. And I'm still having, it's still getting the message out there, but particularly to venues, um, because I've had two calls in the last seven days about couples that didn't know that celebrant was an option because nobody mentioned it to them. And if you don't know what you don't know, you don't know it's there, right? If you know there's things you need to do, like, oh, I need to do that, I need to do this, I need to do that. But if the venue is saying, so you need to book your registrar, let me know when your registrar's booked. And, and some venues won't even take your deposit until you've got your registrar booked, which is an absolute layer of stress you guys don't need. Registrars are not in the wedding business. It's not their business. They're literally not in the wedding business. They are civil servants. They work for the council. They have a superintendent. And it is their legal duty to check that you are not being coerced into marriage and free to wed, free to be married, and that you, well, those two things, you're not being coerced and that you're free to do so. Um, that is that is their job. It's super important. I don't want it. I don't want to be a registrar. I don't want it on my, on my conscience that, oh, my God, I, you know, their interviews, they seem to know each other. Turns out she's been totally gaslighted into marrying this guy. It happens. I don't want that on my shoulders. I don't I don't want to be legally binding. I'm quite happy being 100% ceremonial. Um, because I am in the wedding business. I am part of the wedding. I'm a wedding supplier. You wear a wedding dress. You do your wedding vows. It's all very lovely. You have your wedding rings. You know, wedding rings are symbolic. They're not a legal thing. You know, I put a ring on your finger, therefore you are. And it's like, no, no, no. You could choose, you you know, quite often people are like, oh, we're not going to give and receive. It's just one of us wearing the ring. So they're not legally binding either. It's purely ceremonial. And I am still banging on drums at venues. I'm still going to the wedding fairs and saying, please, 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 please. Each time you have staff turnover, please, 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 to your staff turnover, can you say registrars are not in the wedding business? registrars marry as in do the registration of marriage do the registration of death certificates do the registration of birth certificates they are not ceremonial so you don't have to have them at your wedding you don't have to have them at your birth you don't have to have a registrar at a funeral i don't know how else to get the message out there I have a YouTube channel. I am on LinkedIn. I am on Pinterest. I am here. I am in lots of magazines. <laughs> I. So my plea is to venues. Please, 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 please. Put celebrant in your language. Put it in your contract. Put it in your bump. Hi, sir. Um, put it in your PR stuff. Celebrants are ceremonial and it means that you can say yes to your clients can we have a wedding outside with this and that and the other yes you can can we have i did a wedding it sounds ridiculous i did a wedding in a hallway down a staircase which when they pitched it to me i was like really and then they told me the venue and i was like oh yes i know that very lovely staircase and that very lovely lobby i will happily do a wedding there um but a registrar would have been like no that's not a room it's a massive lobby with a grand staircase. Yes, it is. It's beautiful. Let's do it there. Um, so please have registrars in their in the box of they're really massive important in that they are legally documenting that change, whether it's birth, death, marriage, obviously not in that order. Um, but they're not ceremonial. So that have them in your language as you don't have to book your wedding if you haven't got your registrar. You can book your wedding if you haven't got a registrar because the registrar doesn't need to come to your wedding. That's super important. The other thing to kind of say about having celebrant in the language is that you can mix it up. Um, I had two phone calls in the last seven days. One, three, one from a groom, one from a bride and one from a wedding planner this week, like in the last seven days, about this very question because 
they'd been told that they couldn't book their venue because they hadn't got registrar slots. And I was like, no, no, hmm, no. And I had to explain it all. And then they were like, oh, can you explain it to the venue, please? And I phoned the venue and said, look, just so you're aware, this has happened. Da, 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 da. And they're like, oh, I didn't know that. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, actually, two venues. I went and visited one because he was like, yeah, can you just tell on my staff? So I ended up doing a staff training with all the events team which I really enjoyed. I haven't done training for a while, um, but I really enjoyed. I do the training with the AMC, the Academy of Modern Celebrancy. Um, I started doing that and I was like, oh, I've forgotten how much I love training. I used to love training. Um, and I'm thinking of doing training for other things. So, you know, if you want to pick my brains, I do train. I did the train, the trainer, all that stuff. Um, well, my point was, yes, you can have both. So I had all these, I had these, three situations this week um and it was basically saying that they'd had a problem with the registrar and a problem with the marriage and they were panicking that their wedding couldn't go ahead and I was like I can solve those problems they're not um but what was interesting is they had had different answers from different people and I was like well that's that's their prerogative they have said so for example one celebrant had said they will not do a wedding if the registrar is present and I was like, well, te technically, that's true because you cannot, a registrar cannot be present at a celebrant wedding, but a celebrant can be present whilst the registrar is marrying your couple. So this is what I do. I tend to be in the room at the beginning. The registrar would um, begin the ceremony. I would say it, that this is if... Um, sort of a budget's not a problem because you pay twice you obviously pay for the registrar and you pay for me um if it's super important to you that you get married at your wedding but also for a lot of people they do want to get married at the wedding but the reason they want the celebrant is because they want to throw their own style at it they want to have their own words they want to have a prayer from granny pip they want to maybe um so a wedding i've got coming up is the bride's family is Jewish, but she was like, we're not, we're not really into it, but my family would be really upset if we didn't have a blessing for my uncle. Is that okay? And I was like, absolutely. I'm happy to make space for faith. Um, I'm happy to make, to make space for law too. So we've done that. So I've had a wedding planner also asking, saying I've had some paperwork through from the celebrant and it's given me all this, that and the other. Is, is that necessary? And I said, it's, I don't do that because I don't feel the need. Um, I just sort of say to the planners, what's useful for you to know other than what I think is useful for them to know? And because I used to be on the other side of it, so I used to be an events planner, I was the venue manager, so I was the one that used to apply for the marriage licence. So I've applied for marriage licences for the venue that I've run. So I know it from both sides. So I can then say to the venue, this is what you need to know. This is how to make it work. And they're like, oh, brilliant, amazing. Thank you so much. I can say to the planners, what's useful to, for you to know other than how I'm going to start, like how we get the bride in or um, how you want to give me the thumbs up or when I start my house notices. And then the interesting bit in the middle and that by the time they get to the kiss, that's your three minute standby. And I will give them directions on where to do the confetti. Is there anything else you want me to say to the guests or is there anything that's useful for you as the wedding planner to know that I haven't already told you? And the wedding planner's like, no, that's brilliant. So I need to know. Fine, thanks. And that's it. Um, but I did have a planner reach out and say, I just had a really big document from a red, from a celebrant. Is that normal? And I was like, it's not normal for me, but I can give you one if you want. And they're like, no, I don't need one. I was like, okay, fine. Um, so just to say, there's lots of different ways of doing things. And um, again, I had a I had a bride today that was saying, oh, we, we, got, we want to talk to a couple of other celebrants to know kind of what the vibe is. I was like, 100 percent. There's there's celebrants out there to suit everybody. Um, I'm I'm not a fluffy type. I'm like, what is it you want? How do we make that the best it can be? And let's get the energy up, make the flow happen. And really enjoy the day and warm the audience. The audience. That was my theatre speaking. Um, warm the guests up beforehand. You know, just have that kind of 
have that energy is really important to me. And the couples that find me also like, yeah, no, I love your energy, you're really smiley, blah, 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 blah. I was like, yeah, great, fabulous. Um, and then I sort of drop off radar for a bit because they they then get into wedding planning and then we don't need to talk for a while. And then they go, oh, right, cool, back on ceremony, right, where we're at. We've learned this, 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 and this. And I was like, cool, we talked about this, this, and this. Is all that still relevant? Shall we crack on? Should we pick up where we left off? Um, and then it all comes together really quite quickly, which is lovely. Um, so I've got a few of those to be doing, which is great. Um, but it was essentially saying, never say never. There is always a solution. We will always find a way. Um, and even if you think that either the venue doesn't know or um, the planner wants to be in on it, that's absolutely fine. I'm not precious in the fact that, um, you know, mine, 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 mine. <laughs> Um, I'm like, who would like information? Who needs to know what? Who wants to come to the rehearsal or whatever? Because um, the nice thing about having a celebrant, other than being able to have your own style, say your own words, and do your own thing, is that you get a rehearsal. And you can bring whoever you want to that. You can bring whoever's walking you up the aisle. You can bring a reader if they're quite a nervous reader. And they don't really want to do a reading, but you really want them to do a reading. And they want to want to do a reading, but actually bringing them to the rehearsal will make them feel really good and they'll be fine. So you can have that. There is all that flexibility. And if you've got a good venue that's on board and gets the whole celebrant thing, uh, then quite often, nine and a half times out of ten, they will say, yeah, sure, you can have the rehearsal on site. But we just have to work it around other functions that hence why I've got a rehearsal at 9 15 tomorrow um type thing so if you're a venue please have celebrant in your vocabulary at your show rounds at your wedding fairs in your bump and at contract level you don't have to ask when is the registrar booked it does they they're not in the wedding business the second thing if you do want to have a registrar at your wedding you can and it can be in a hybrid kind of way it can be um, quite old school fashion so I was brought up in the Church of England I'm Anglican and we used to have the wedding and then the bride and groom or the bride and bride well in the 80s the bride and groom um, would go down the aisle go into the vestry at the back we'd all shimmy out the side and meet them in the churchyard and throw them with a confetti um, so I can I still do it that way quite often if we're having the registrars at the wedding um, they would I would have the wedding the couple go down the aisle and the registrars are waiting in the other room to do the marriage afterwards. That's doable. It seems, though, I found out this week, depends on the registrar and depends on the celebrant. But as far as I'm concerned, I'll do whatever makes you happy. Um, and that the council will agree to do. But actually, I'm in Guildford and they're all really, really lovely. And we haven't had any run-ins or any problems or anything. So it's all good. It's all lovely. It's all groovy, baby. Um, so that was my second thing. And the third thing was there is more than one way of doing something. So please don't panic. We will always find a way. Um, and with the energy, it will come. And so even if I've gone quiet, for example, or we've had a flurry and you've gone, oh, I've had this problem. Don't worry. We'll find a way. It will totally get done. It will totally find. We will find a way. Um, so... Oh, and then the last thing was, because June is mental and June is nuts, I'm probably going to stop doing my Wednesday Night Lives for a bit. But also because I've got a YouTube channel now. Woohoo! So I'm putting my videos on there so that you can just find them and catalogue them and save them and do whatever magical stuff YouTube does, which I need to get my head around. Um, so there'll be a little index of information for you there. Hopefully that's helpful. Right. Feeling much better this week. Those of you that um, happened to be on Facebook when my drama occurred this time last year, this time last week. Um, but I'm pleased to say I don't have a house full of paramedics. And I currently don't have a migraine. But I'm going to go and have some dinner. All right. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.